Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. It's today very excited to check out Shuttles, the movable maze strategy game from University Games. This is for two players. Age is 8+, plus. it'll take you about, eh, you know, 5 to 15 minutes to play. And in Shuttles, you are going to have this three-dimensional board right here, which, coolly enough, kind of moves around like a movable maze. You're going to be trying to move all of your pieces from your side to your opponent's side, get your stick into their holes. If you can be the first person to get all your sticks into their holes, you will win the game. It's from University Games, who has a notoriously terrible track record with me. Is this the game to turn it around? Is this the game to make me start singing their praises? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of Shuttle. So first and foremost, we have our handy dandy back of the box. Yeah, all the rules you need are actually on the back of the box, which, hey, that's I'm not complaining about that. The game's simple enough to put all the rules on the back of the box and clearly explain everything, then put them on the back of the box, by all means. Uh, it's one back of the box, not double-sided, no, I don't think, not double-sided, and uh, it'll have you up and running in no time at all. It's also a really simple game, so I can teach you how to play right now. So inside of Shuttles, your goal is to get your five pieces from over here all the way to your opponent's side into their holes. If you can be the first person to do that, then you will win the game. So how do you do that? Well, on your turn, you're going to take one action, and there are only three actions you can take. So let's go back to the back of the box. First one is you can move a peg of your color in any direction, aside from diagonally, as far or as short as you want. So let's just say uh, that my piece was, how would I do this? Like this. So I could move this piece, assuming this is my first action of this turn, my only action of this turn, I could move it here. Or I could move it here, or I could move it here, or I could move it here. As long as it's a straight line, I can move it as far or as short as I want. Uh, so then on my next move, I might go right here. On my next move, I might go right here. On my next move, I might go right here. You get it. You can go in a straight line, left, right, up, or down, as far as you want, as long as there's not a wall there or a person there. Next move you can do, and you might have noticed, and you went, oh, that's kind of neat, is you can move the maze by sliding any one of these. And you can slide as much as you want, but you can only slide one. So let's say, uh, you know, a decent first turn would be, you know, maybe move it like this. So that way I got a straightaway. Uh, but they go like this. And the thing is, like, check this out. Like, they are locked in place. It's actually really nice. Um, yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised with the components right there. Uh, but you can slide one of them and they will click, kind of click down. So this one's kind of out of place and it looks a little wonky. Then you push it, boom, clicked in place. So you can do that. Last but not least, very simple one, you can jump over your opponent. So if your opponent's right here, you jump. And you stop at that spot. So even if you were in an instance where like your opponent's right here and you're right here, you could not jump over him and then keep going this way. You only jump over him and boom, go one space. Uh, there's also a house rule that I made up where you can't just completely negate somebody's move because it's dumb in a two-player game. So let's just say that uh, I'm about to win the game hypothetically, by moving this guy into here, you know, but you could just be like, ha-ha, I'm going to do this, and I could just go, well, I can just, you know, do that, and they'd be like, well, I'm going to do this, and then they'd be like, oh, I'm just going to do that, and they'd be like, I'm going to do this, and do that. So we made a rule that you can't just completely negate your opponent's last turn. Um, but yeah, once you've gotten all five of your pieces into the five little slots, and as you can see, they do line up, which is kind of nice, uh, you'll be the winner of Shuttles, and that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, shuttles from University Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go to the pros, let's go to the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Two players, er, very restricted player count. Also, um, it does have this wonky thing where you can just negate somebody's turn. Like, where the game, hypothetically, could go on forever. Where it's just like, oh, you're about to win? I'm just going to move this, move this. And then they'd be like, well, I'm just going to move it back. Be like, well, I'm just going to move it back. Well, I'm just going to move it back. I'm going to move it back. I'm going to move it back. They really should have covered that in the rules somehow, because look, look at all the extra space they have in the rule book, which is on the back of the box. Um, you know, it's a minor nitpick. You just make a house rule and say, you know, don't just negate people. Don't be a jerk. Just let them win if they're in the instance where they are going to win and you clearly are going to lose. It's a minor thing, but it is something that I did want to mention. You know, it is exactly what it is. There's no surprises with this game. Game A to Game B to Game C to Game D to Game E to Game F to Game G to other letters, they're all going to be pretty much the same. Also, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. This is a children slash family game, and those are the only categories I would put it in. 
maybe if you really like abstract games, this could be a lightweight filler game if you're waiting for a third person to show up. But for the most part, I feel like this is primarily aimed at kids and family. Because while moving on to the pros, I enjoyed it and I thought it was a good game. I thought it was an enjoyable experience. I thought it was cool. I definitely It definitely has a nifty meat factor. You know, it's nothing special. But the kids I played it with, they really enjoyed it. And they're the target our target audience. So, shuttles. What did I like about the game? So, first and foremost, easy to learn, easy to teach. Rules are on the back. Components are super stinking nice. Uh, you know, those fell out. But other than that, I mean, this, this is a really cool piece of technology. How it just kind of slides around, but it won't. Like, I am putting some serious pressure here. Trying to rip one of these pieces off. And it's not going to break off, so that's really nice. Um, it's interesting. It's just a straight up interesting game to me. So to kids, it's just like, what? It's like we're in this maze. We're trying to make our way through. And that's really stinking cool. And in the end, I don't think this is in print. It might be in print, but I don't think so. If you can find it at a thrift shop or at a Goodwill, look in there, make sure all the components are in there. But if you have kids, I think they're going to enjoy it. The kids in my class really enjoyed this game. Like I played it three times against three different kids and I was like yeah this is this is good but I, don't, I really have no desire to play it over and over and over again those kids I kid you not sat there and played it for about an hour what I did was like all right if you win you get to stay if you lose you walk away and so they just cycled through and the kids just kept playing and kept playing and the game was so simple that I was like all right if you win the other condition is you have to start explaining the rules so I don't keep having to explaining the three rules over and over and over again and they had no problem with that so in the end, simple as this, shuttles. For adults, no. I'm just going to say no. I don't think many adults are going to go buck wild for this game. If it had some extra elements to the game, it was a bigger board, I think, yes, this could be a really cool abstract strategy game. But for kids as a family or children's game, and yes, I'm going to say children's game, meaning that I think once you teach kids how to play, they can teach other kids how to play, which means you don't even have to watch or be there for the game to be enjoyed. Yes, I can recommend this game. Very pleasantly surprised. Normally, University Games games suck, so I'm very pleased to see a good game from them. Hooray for you, University Games! So this is a Shuttle from University Games, one that if you have kids, I can recommend. If you don't have kids, probably going to pass on it, despite the fact I don't think it's bad. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me no, uh, but do corn maze. Have you ever done a corn maze? Me personally, I've done one corn maze in my life, and man, they are really stinking cool. I did one at uh, this big farm. They had like this a big event last summer. That's uh, a dairy farm, and they turned the entire corn maze into like this giant. I think it was Darth Vader, maybe, but they made it to a huge Darth Vader, and you had to go around looking for all these random factoids about milk, and it was really cool. My son really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I also kind of just stopped looking at the map so we just got endlessly lost and that was kind of cool as well except my wife hated it and then she got mad and frustrated because she was hot and our one-year-old at the time was screaming and crying and she's like i just want to get out of the maze i was like sorry dear i told sean we're gonna look at the map she's like give me the map and then my son was like well i don't want to look at the map i want to find our way out ourselves and then so she looked like the bad guy despite the fact that i had set her up in that context to look like the bad guy and so i apologized profusely and private later and said i'm sorry dear i didn't take into account that luke was going to be all whiny and all clingy and he was going to have milk in his belly and he was going to throw up the chocolate milk that he'd been drinking actually i think it was chocolate caramel milk which was super good whoa holy moly anywho yes uh corn maze i, I like them i think they're cool just not with you know uh, super hot days with whiny, I guess he'd be one at that point, one-year-olds full of milk. Below in the comments below, <laughs> do you like corn mazes? <laughs> As always, thanks for your time, YouTube.